uh, research your destination thoroughly. Read up on local laws regarding LGBTQ plus people. Some places are much more restrictive than others, and it is better to know your rights and not need them than to be stuck in a jail cell somewhere. What are some of the most restrictive travel destinations? Do you know? The worst countries to visit, they received an F rating as of this year, 2021. Nigeria, homosexuality receives up to 14 years in prison and the death penalty. Saudi Arabia, same thing. Malaysia, homosexual intercourse result in up to 20 years in prison, whipping and fines. Malawi, Oman, Jamaica, homosexuality is indecent behavior resulting in up to seven years in prison with or without hard labor. Uh, Myanmar, uh, again, homosexuality against the order of nature receives up to 20 years in prison. Uh, Kator, any homosexual act will result in three years in prison, flogging or death penalty under Sharia law. Uh, the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, former of gender express, okay, forms of gender expression, up to one year in prison and a fine up to 10,000 dirhams or in US dollars, $2,700. Pro LGBTQ organizations are banned. Uh, Yemen, homosexuality for men, 100 lashes or one year in prison, unmarried, death by stoning or married, homosexuality for women, 100 lashes up to three years in prison. Those are, those are the worst countries. Okay. Uh, stay, out, stay out of there. Uh, you so want I'm the best country. Jamaica, I, you know, Jamaica seems to me as a major tourist destination, I'm surprised that they have this, um, these draconian and antiquated laws in place. That's an interesting, tasty little tidbit there. Um, what are some of the easiest places to travel to if you're trans or for that matter, LGBTQIA? Okay. Uh, Canada was number one. Uh, the Netherlands, Sweden, Malta, Portugal, Belgium, United Kingdom, Spain, Uruguay, Norway, France, Iceland, Denmark, Australia, and Brazil. All the good countries. <laughs> And uh, the United States ranked at number 20 on the list. It's because some states don't offer protection against discrimination or allow for a change of gender. Other states prohibit advocacy of homosexuality in schools. Do you think it's easier to travel in Europe? Uh, and I, this is a guess on your part. And it's totally fine if you don't know, but would you think that it's easier, slightly easier to travel as a transgender person in Europe than it is even here in the United States? Yes and no, it depends where you are. Right, right, right. Well, I, I'm, by Europe, I'm thinking mainly the EU, you know, um, um, France, Spain, those countries that yes. you named as the easy countries. So you yes. actually think it's easier for the easy countries that you just named it's easier to travel there as a, as a trans person than it is even here in the United States. Well, I will tell you this, of those countries that I listed, there were 15 good countries in all. All of them, get this, have legalized same-sex marriage, worker protections, protections against discrimination or criminalization of violence, adoption recognition, it's a good place to live, and transgender legal identity laws. So they're pretty safe if you stick with those countries.